Hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'm a PhD molecular biologist and welcome to another COVID debunking video. This week is a short fun one covering a topic that has been floating around in the COVID conspiracy space for quite some time now, but is once again trending and I thought I'd finally cover it. I'm talking of course about these wacky and wild claims surrounding this odd looking stuff that is supposedly found in COVID vaccines. What could it possibly be? Certainly not normal vaccine contents. No, it's got to be something crazy, right? Let's find out. Most recently, these claims are being perpetuated by a Senator Malcolm Roberts, who is a politician in Queensland, Australia, and is apparently associated with lots of crazy stuff. But he's the one who's making this idea trending, so he's the face I'm going to show in this video. He, like others who have perpetuated this idea, have the same story. They have some contents of a COVID vaccine, usually it's an mRNA vaccine, and they put it under a light microscope and they look at all the weird things they see and say, oh, this must be harmful, dangerous, crazy stuff. And they have no idea what they're looking at and they don't do any follow-up testing or any actual science to figure it out. They just take pictures, show the public, and say, scary. Let's watch and see what he says. They found basically um, angular structures, not natural, in the Pfizer vaccine. Computer monitor, which showed what was in the side, and they were luminous angular objects, clearly not natural, clearly not natural. And we just did that once to show people that this wasn't dummied up. Those are very lovely pictures. And you know what they are? They're pictures of cholesterol crystals. Yep, cholesterol is an ingredient in mRNA vaccines, and when it forms crystals, it looks an awful lot like that. It's funny how knowing a little bit about chemistry and molecules will prevent you from making really stupid claims about how they look like nanotechnology. So yeah, that's it. All of those images could easily be explained by components of the vaccine crystallizing. And these people just don't understand what that looks like under a light microscope, so they see it and they think that it's nanotechnology. Yeah, I'm not kidding. She, the interviewer, says that it's nanotechnology. Senator, people... Senator Roberts, you've been involved in multiple inquiries in, in Parliament where you've questioned the Australian health authorities on these matters and has at any at any point or on the safety and efficacy of these so-called vaccines, which they're not, at any point has anyone told you that there's a possibility of nanotechnology being found in these vials or being included in these injections that are being pushed onto Australian people? Never. Yeah, no one's ever told him because there's no nanotechnology in vaccines. Sorry to disappoint you. So he's concerned about these images of stuff he saw in COVID vaccines, and he thinks they might be dangerous. So what did he do to figure out what they actually are? Did he meticulously document how long the vaccine was actually in the fridge before it was taken out to be imaged on the light microscope? Did he document the magnification? Did he document the lot number? Did he document literally anything here? No, of course he didn't. He doesn't give any of those details. Instead, he goes on to make claims like this. But what you see in, in the Pfizer vials, uh, Pfizer samples, these angular structures, luminous structures, uh, you also see, sees, and then, then in the blood samples, you see the white cells going onto the angular structures and the white cells dying. And then you see the red blood cells, which are very important for oxygen carrying, agglomerating into, into basically just bunches of cells. So he's saying that he watched white blood cells touch these things and then they died. How does he know it died? Did he use a specific stain? Did he use some marker to see if the white blood cell was alive or dead? What, how, did, how was this done? No details are given. He's purely here to spread fear. He's purely here to show things that he knows most people won't understand and then say that they're scary so that he can further his political agenda and spread misinformation. That's all he's doing. The data out of other countries is suggesting mass deaths that are coming for us. Yep, it's suggesting genocide. It's really quite amazing that these are the kinds of people who get to lead and actually make decisions that affect people's lives. 
Ah, I wish I could say it's better in the U.S., but... Meanwhile, as he's making all these wild claims about COVID vaccines and how dangerous they are, I'd say Australia is doing a fine job of vaccinating, and their excess deaths are looking just normal. Well, that's going to do it for this fun and very short video. Sometimes it's fun to laugh at the more ridiculous claims floating around in the COVID conspiracy world. There aren't many this week, but all of the links to the science that I did talk about in this video are linked in the description below, as always, so that you can read them for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch me next week where I'll be debunking some more funky stuff, which will be Dr. Peter McCullough and Stephanie Seneff's new paper. See you then.